That is, oh, yeah, I'll give you that one. Look at the square body over here. Stop. Oh my god, the square body. There's a bunch of sexual. square bodies. <laughs> making me uncomfortable. Little known fact, square bodies are awesome. Another little known fact, uh, oh shit. It's all of But then you need to like clip it off and then clip it back on, just going back down track perfect. Yeah. <laughs> he said you need to, uh, <laughs> you need to splice that video of him hitting the wall with some Dukes of Hazard type <laughs> shenanigans and the horn blowing. Oh, that would have been epic. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so what's going on here? What do you got going? Uh, I think my Emma's deep fried. Uh oh. Because it's too hot to touch. Are you gonna hot wire it so you don't need yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just gonna jump over to the coil. But the air conditioning is still working, right? It was. That's excellent. <laughs> That's all that matters. That's what we were laughing about. We're in the about. same boat. You know what? The car's 50 oh. years old this year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a guy that knows his car, like the back of his hand. Which is what you need to do. <laughs> exactly. On these trips. That's exactly what you need yeah. on these trips. Yeah, this is where you, you know, yeah, on these kind of trips, you pull over on the side of the road and you go, okay, give me a drink. <laughs> I got to think about yeah. how is this set up yeah. and how do I circumnavigate the thing that isn't working? Yeah. Okay. How, how the hell did I wire yeah. it at 2 o'clock in the morning the other day? Yes. <laughs> and then everybody goes, everybody goes, can I help? And you go, after I remember where everything is. <laughs> <laughs> then I will point you in a direction. All right. See, so race week is a competition, but everybody kind of pulls over for everybody else. It's yeah. kind of like, oh yeah, you you know you're with hot rodders. You don't want to leave anybody you know stranded. It's the race family thing. So, you know, and sometimes, sometimes we pull over because oh yeah, I got to make sure everybody's okay. Yeah. But sometimes you just want to pull over and hang out and shoot the Yeah, because like, this is going to be like, what, like a five, six hour drive. Oh, yeah. You're only going to have the one person with you. This is not a horribly long drive, no. but we have the whole day to do it. So I'm like, why would you leave that early? Why wouldn't you like enjoy the day and just yeah. drive for only an hour or so? Stop and take cool photos of the cars. Stop. You know, stop and eat somewhere cool, you know, those exactly. kinds of things instead of rushing to sit in Topeka because no offense. That. But There's it's Topeka. There. I think the one thing that uh, I would want, uh, the one thing I would think that guys would leave early for is they don't have air conditioning, so they want to beat the heat. Yeah, I but guess. even I mean we do, but we haven't run it yet this morning. We've been driving along with the windows down in the wagon, just cruising. Actually, I mean, this is her. So yeah, you know, <laughs> the first drag week. She that, goes, that was to make uh, the, the wife happy for the yeah, air conditioning. Yeah, she goes the first drag week. Um, you're putting air conditioner back in, are you? I was like, no. <laughs> so she got online and ordered it for me. So when I got home from work, it was sitting on the porch, and I was like, oh, guess I guess I am. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he was just saying how smart you were because you ordered the air conditioning for this thing. <laughs> yes, <I> Without telling. <laughs> yeah, when he mentioned, he says, yep, this is what we're going to start doing. We're going to start doing drag week. I was like, really? Yes. Every guy dreams of a wife that buys car parts for him. Yeah. Yes. There's yeah, just a car yeah. part for I her. I bought him a lift, too. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Wow. He's She's not so good. tired. Yeah. You get a, working on the car, he can still do yard work. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Again, it's a benefit for her. All right. Yeah. You get a gold star anyway. You get a gold star. Wait, are you? You know, if you're going those 13, are you being 20 guys, they don't teach you a damn thing, but we'll be entertained here. I, yeah. I, don't I really don't have time to watch this. Oh, it's the. Who is? It? Are you being? You're, you're side of the road YouTube mechanicing right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, guys, we're not going to sit here all day with you, but hopefully you guys, hopefully see you in well, Topeka. See you guys. Bye, Fred. See you later. Yeah. All right, guys, on race week, they're having a drive day today, and on the routes, it's not just like Google the next racetrack. It's nothing like that. They have specific routes on a piece of paper you have to take. If you don't do that, you are disqualified. And a couple of things they have to do is a couple of checkpoints. This is one of them. You have to come here, park the car right there, take a picture with this background right here, whatever it happens to be today. It happens to be this mural on the side of the building. Take a picture, send it in, and that says that they were on route and they did what they were supposed to. So we're going to sit here for a little bit, see what cars show up, see what cars come by, uh, all that good stuff. So yeah, how's it going, guys? You have any trouble on the road yet or no? Make it pretty good? Everything so far so good. I gotta say, this this truck moves a lot faster than I thought it would. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was like, I'll probably go talk to him later. Like I was thinking <laughs> yesterday, and then it it made a pass. I was like, oh, that thing's really actually pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. This thing ought to go a high eight. Really. Low nine. That's that's impressive. I've been nine thirty in Pueblo. Really. 
You should get a shot of this truck right here. I have shot. Dragon. No, right here oh. with the thing. With the do your job, Dom. Jesus. Oh, okay. I hear a race car back there. I hear one. Hey, it's the lightning. Hell yeah. Bunch of them coming in hot now. It's going. How's it going? Yeah. Any troubles so far on the road? Uh, I know we're only about. Uh, not on the road, it tossed a fan belt or alternator belt yesterday. Okay. And I didn't think too much of it, but it took out the wire, it ripped the wire out for one of the cooling fans. Oh, okay. So I kind of cobbled it back together in the hotel. We'll see if we can get a fan. I double check, make sure it's working still. Gotcha. But uh, okay. otherwise, it's good. Good. Yeah. Glad to hear it. Thank you. I do have to say, seeing a car this large go down the drag strip and knowing it's a it's a six-speed car, it's crazy. Because what, what did this do yesterday? A nine? It just went. It just no. It just went 10.0 at 142. That's but that was six pounds boost. So it'll yeah. be 14 pounds boost in the next ride. Oh, okay. Very nice. Hey, they found a starter. Hey, look at that. You guys have any suggested. trouble on the road yet? No, we usually don't. <laughs> Do you have air conditioning? No. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say that would be very convenient. No, That'd we be were really joking nice. with them because they the have AC, and I was like, yeah, it was cold in there too. No, we don't. The windows are no. This is this, I, I know mean, old yeah, cars. That's your works, air conditioning. Yeah. That works really a, well. We got a radio. <laughs> when you're moving and this this yeah. thing's yeah. this thing's working, it's, it's not that bad. <laughs> not that bad. All right, we'll see you guys in Topeka. Yeah. Awesome. You found a starter or fixed it or something. Uh, we got the we figured out that the appendix on the starter maybe kicked out a little bit, so we got a sweet spot. We just tap it one time and fire uh, just right. one of those deals. Never done finish for Yeah. We'll yeah. see you guys in Topeka then. Oh, absolutely. Good luck to you. Thank you. That's illegal. That was my first trailer burnout right there. First trailer burnout. First one I've seen. There you go. That's awesome. If we sit here all day, we're just gonna have cars keep coming and keep yeah, coming. Yeah. So we're gonna hop back in, get back on the road, uh, see what else we can find. We'll see you guys the next stop. Uh oh. Fire! 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 Here he fire out. Truck just did a burnout. Did all that smoke. The dang locals are calling us in. What are we looking for? A Napa. We're looking for uh, uh, the on, on our left. Napa on the left. Napa, I see a church. We're somewhere in Kansas. Harrington, Harrington, Kansas. Harrington, Kansas right now. We're looking for a Napa. At 20 miles. At 20 miles. We're 21 and a half. We're at 21.6 and no Napa right now. So. Do you see a town about yonder? In the down yonder way. Yeah. I think all they right, were just we'll, making we'll us. You guys want to stop at Pizza for food? I mean, that's that's all you want. That's an option. You guys, if you guys I don't want pizza, if you guys don't want, time. if you guys don't want pizza, we'll keep going. Okay, we'll keep going. So, so we are now on Trap Street, which turns into 56. Okay. Uh, for about 75 miles. So that about 20 was uh, 21 and a half. Well, if we also. Uh, that is, okay, yeah, I'll give you that one. Look at the square body over here. Stop. Oh my god, the square bunch bodies. Like, There's a like bunch a of square bodies. They can be uncomfortable. Little known fact, square bodies are awesome. Another little known fact, uh, oh shit, we just came up on, uh... And the sticker is not straight The whatsoever. supposed to be problem, not non-problematic. The Impala. The Impala SS. That not Caprice. The problematic. The not Impala, Caprice. and he is jacking up the rear end right now, so we're gonna go check it out. Let's see what he's got going on. I thought this thing was supposed to be very pro, like, non-problematic. Is the air conditioning still working? It was until it died and wouldn't start again. <laughs> it was nice and comfortable. <laughs> you got a fuel pump there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. How, how, how much fuel is in the tank right now? How much you think's in there? <laughs> is that a full <laughs> tank? <laughs> 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 So that thing's gonna drop real easy, but putting it back up is gonna take like three guys to put that yeah. thing back up there. 
Okay, so the Impala needs a fuel pump. A couple more racers stopped by because they thought he was south and south side of the road. This is another one of the racers. He offered to go to an O'Reilly's that's about 30, 40 miles away, pick up a part for him. He's gonna go get parts for him, and hopefully they're gonna get the tank dropped in this, uh, this Impala, replace the fuel pump, and they'll be back on the road here in a couple hours, hopefully. We made it to Topeka. We are at, I guess, would be the host hotel. There's a lot of racers here, so we're gonna walk around. There's a couple guys working on cars. We're gonna see what they're doing. And Dom's waving me over here, so. What's the situation? Uh, situation is critical with the top half of the motor <laughs> being removed. That is a blower car, and there is no blower on. I can already tell this is going to be a very stupid question, but how are things going? Oh, it's going all right. It's not the end of the world. We're just trying to figure out the best way to put this back together. What what, what happened? Oh, uh, we got some lifters going away on us. Did you bring extras? Yep, of course. Well, I mean, of course. Valve train and heat seems to be the, the biggest problems I hear that yep. you guys have, so that's a problem. I saw you guys pull in. I'm like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, looks like one of my other favorite cars, the stick shift GTO, is being taken apart right now. I'm gonna check it out. So, uh, I'm gonna say the same thing I did the other guys. It's gonna be a really stupid question, but how are things going? Well, it drove all the way here like a champ, no issues at all. And then Bill wanted me to go run with, take him to get some parts. Are you gonna blame this one on him? No, I'm just telling you what happened. <laughs> So, so what, what happened exactly? What, what, what went bad? We don't, we don't know that. Oh, you're that still figuring it out. Gotcha. We know the distributor is not the problem. Start, you bastard. Let's start. No, nothing. No. Exactly. I will have a full wire to see if it's safe because it might not be good to distribute it. So yeah, he just needs to know how to wire. I'm about sensor. to pick up on that right now. But what I just realized is he drove it here from Canada. He drove it 1,200 miles and then our 400. He drove it basically 1,600 miles to Great Bend to start it and just drive it home. So if he can't fix it, he doesn't even own a truck and trailer, so he has to rent something to take it home. Hopefully, I'm guessing he's going to get it fixed. This isn't his first time doing this. Uh, just something in the ignition system. Hopefully, it's not that bad. His phone's dying, probably. We want to watch that. What are you guys doing? I don't know, watching a watching our video. Because <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awesome. Parts. I mean, we, we do what we can. All right, the stick shift car is still not started yet. It looks like they're actually putting the blower on the Mustang now. Well, that's a good, that's positive. We'll, we'll check in with them real quick. The big freaking schedules. They were Joe's Barry's car, and I didn't know any different. I Did you guys figure it out? You guys got it back together and all good? Good to go? Yep, I think we're good, sorry. No, you're good, you're good, you're, you're working. We'll see you guys at the track tomorrow. Sounds good. Yep. How's it going, guys? Good, how are you? Not bad. I don't like seeing hoods pop. Is this a general maintenance or is this issues? Yeah, run of the valves. Oh, okay. How's it going? Good, how are you doing? Not too bad. Good. Any issues? No, just not changing out too plugs? bad. Yeah, just doing the usual maintenance. The only issue I've had is the drain backs on the turbos or weren't quite enough, so we changed those a little bit. And We'll see how it goes tomorrow. Well, I'm going to leave you to it. We'll see you in the morning. All right. Yes, you have a good one, man. All right. It is the morning. It is race day in Topeka. We're going to walk around the pits, see who showed up, who didn't make it, and talk to some racers, see what the struggles were on the road, and then we're going to get to racing here in a few minutes. How's it going? Morning. How late were you guys up working on this thing? I was done at 11.30 because it's not my car. <laughs> but I helped him this morning. He That's was up until 1.30. How's it going? It's running! I was about to say, the car is here. That I'm sure you're excited about that. What, what was the actual issue? What did you guys figure it out? As far as we can tell, yesterday when I changed the, or cleaned the pre-filter, my fuel pump, it, uh, it lifted one of the wires and arced it against the frame. So it changed out the ECU. My good buddy Matt Blasco, before I left, he's like, I want to take my spare ECU. It's one of those questions you don't say no to. Yeah, exactly. It's like having a bad ground. It just does some funky stuff that it makes it really hard to troubleshoot. And I'm sure the last thing on your mind was, oh, the ECU just went bad. Yeah, I just drove 200 miles. Yeah. Like, what are the chances of it going bad? But exactly. Heard you guys had a minor cooling issue on the road. Right, the, the fan died leaving the track. Popped the fuse in there and made it up about a mile down the road. And 
was popping the fuse again. So we limped into the motel. We would pull over and spray it down with water and uh, the engine would come down real quick. We got tired of doing that. So <laughs> we stopped in a little town. The old guy had a truck sitting outside of his garage and got to talking to him. He went down and got a guy that owned an apple parts store. They opened it up for us, got us a piece of hose. We ran it up front, taped it in, and run 200 the whole way, the rest of the way. So we you run the last 100 or so miles. Water, spraying it, watching the temperature. Really? Yeah. So it worked out good. You got you 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 race week guys are like MacGyvers on the road. <laughs> I think it was Sean Fink did it back at Drag Week 2012 or 13 with the Nova, and I remembered seeing something like that. So we uh, we couldn't give up. There's no giving up here. So. All right, I'm excited to see the car back, but. You're, you're, you're disqualified? Disqualified, but I'm going to treat it just like I was on the set. Uh, we took it home because we came to the conclusion that it was a bottom-end knock and that there was nothing we could do to fix it. And so I was pretty upset about it, um, just because I've had so much, so many problems with this setup so far. The sun is extremely bright. We got it back yesterday. I was detailing my silver Camaro, getting ready to take it, um, and I was going to bring it, but I said I want to stay until we pull the pan on the orange car. And so we pulled the pan and then grabbed the flywheel, and the flywheel bolts were loose. Uh, but it wasn't flywheel to converter, it was flywheel to motor. Uh, don't know why they came loose, we had torqued them and everything, but as bad as a simple fix, it just sucks that, you know, that's what, that's what did it. Do you guys have these shirts? Yeah. I'm going to need to get one. Yeah, it's got enough. as hell with that car, I'll tell you what. top on there.
And you're like, eh, eh, eh. We'll turn it up a little bit. It still ran at eight. It ran at eight. Yeah. We'll turn it up a little bit. See what it'll do. All right. What are we going to do this time? Hopefully an 850. 850 is what you're hoping for? Should be clean this time. Same either that thing. or it's got to be na now because that's the truck that they were doing a motor swap yeah they, they could be trying to put some more miles on it you know it might not have 150,000 miles on it yet they got to break it in and seat them rings right yeah get, get a couple passes under its belt <laughs> they put yeah. some boost to it oh yeah
have it, not bad. whatever you want to call it. And Chad wanted to do something special for us on camera. Here, dude, hold that for me. Ben, this is Adam Dory started this. So we're going to make it a thing. Mm. All right, it's a thing now. We're making it a thing. Get over here. Be proud of your father. Are you ready? Oh, wow, that feels <laughs> so much better. So much better in this heat. Oh, it looks so much better. <laughs> You're so proud, aren't you? No, You're a home. proud son, aren't you? Yeah. I would be if Chad was Holy my dad. crap, the melting is bad. You gotta eat it faster. Your uh, nipples are just so hot, you know? It's so... <laughs> hey, Kyle, this is the kind of crap that goes down when you're not here. That's right. You will never go racing on the beginning of an event again. <laughs> What's up guys, thanks for watching that video. If you have not checked out our merch store recently, there's over a hundred items on there with a bunch of new releases. We'll have a link in the description below, so make sure you guys go check that out. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there and check out these couple videos over here. Also, go ahead and check out our new channel, 1320 Video Uncut. We're gonna have a whole bunch of unseen content on that channel right there, so make sure you stay tuned and check that out. We'll see you guys in the next video.